And this question came in from Jiv that was a follow-up to something we discussed a few weeks ago about how Windows 10 lacks a real lean-back television interface, uh, but it's something that Android is doing quite well with their system, which is why I prefer to use my NVIDIA Shield as my home theater device versus a NUC or some other kind of Windows computer. And one thing that Jiv suggested was maybe taking another look at Steam OS. We looked at it a while ago when we got in that Alienware Steam machine, but we really haven't come back to explore it since. And my big complaint back then was a lack of compatibility. But as it turns out, uh, Steam has been working on integrating Windows compatibility with their Linux client and are also baking that in now to uh, the Steam OS uh, environment as well, which is also running on Linux. So I think it might be something we explore again. Uh, one of the things we have here in the studio is Corey, who works for us here. Uh, his old computer is over there and not working. So we're going to try to get the computer working again. And this might be a fun experiment to run on it. We'll run Steam OS and run a few games and see how those Windows games perform versus a proper Windows 10 installation and see uh, where this might head. Because there's a potential here to really uh, make open source a little bit better. And the reason why this is relevant in a home theater discussion is that Steam has a very nice lean back interface. So when you're sitting at your couch, they present to you an interface that can be operated with a game controller, for example, and it also allows launching of other software in addition to games that are running in your Steam library. So lots to explore with this, and I think it's something we will uh, start messing around with and maybe do a live stream on when we have some more time. Uh, if you want more information about how they are running Linux games on Win or Windows games on Linux, uh, you can go to the link that you see here on screen to get more information about their use of Proton. Uh, to make it all happen. So we're going to be exploring that. And our Q&A for you uh, is whether or not you're doing this on your SteamOS installation or on Linux. I would love to get some feedback as to how it's working so far so we know what to expect when we get it uh, operating on that computer over there. So let us know down in the comments below and we'll start uh, doing some experiments and maybe have something to show you in the next couple of weeks. This channel is brought to you by the LON.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast. Tom Albrecht. Gerard Newberg. And Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.